Hello everybody. Sorry I didn't get this video out last night. Um, I have been sick, but I do have the data here for you. Please bear with me as I go through this, as this will be a lot. Um, and make sure you listen to this like on um, times two or whatever you can take there. But, um, so we'll look here at the trades for AIYY. You can see here on lines five and six that they ended up closing out uh, the ones, the short calls that were gonna, going to expire today, the 5th. So you can see, uh, it looks like they only paid it two or four cents two and four cents to close those out so that looked really good um that was like what nine thousand ninety five hundred shares they only purchased half of those which is what i've seen several times this week with uh some of the other ones so i'm sure we'll probably see the rest of those be purchased today or shares to be used up today so now we have those three new short calls for next week, and then they also added to the synthetic position there. So let's just look at the holdings here. So we can see those new ones there. Some of those had the same strike price, which is why you only see two lines here. But you can see where they added to the synthetic and then the two new short calls there with the strike prices of twenty six fifty and twenty seven dollars. Um, and I don't know what the I don't know what the uh, price is right now. So as of yesterday, we were under these by six and seven percent. And then if we move on to AMD, there were no trades there. Um, we'll just look at here. We have three short calls. Those all expired today. And we're under those by 10, 12, and 13. So hopefully, it shows yesterday they could have closed them out at 2 or 3 cents. So hopefully we got those out at 1 cents today. AMZ looks like no trades. Let me just, I just want to 100% make sure. I'm not really prepared for these. Okay, so we're good until Dizzo. Um, sorry, I can't remember now. If I, okay, I did not go over this one. So AMZ here. Um, we had two short calls that expired today, in which we were under 1% and 3% as of yesterday. So let's see how those go. Aptly here. Two short calls, 172.50, 175, under those yesterday as of 2 and 4%. Then we have Coney here. And we have four short calls ranging from 265 to 292.50, 6 to 15%. Um, they also have those synthetics that expire in two weeks, so we'll see if they do anything with those or not. Uh, they don't need; they won't need to cover their short calls, so uh, I expect that they won't touch those today. But we'll see. So Disney here, we had some closed trades on that, so we'll go back over. So they closed out the three short calls they had. that were gonna to expire today. And then they put on about half of those for a short call for next week. And then I'm sure today they'll put on the other half. But you can see we had over a thousand for those first three lines and then they only put on 500. So those strikes that they closed out were 124 to $126. And yesterday we were six and 7% below those. So we can see here the new short call with the 500 contracts, uh, that strike price of 121, and we were 3% below that as of yesterday. 
So if we move it on to Phoebe, no trades here, but we did have five short calls that expire today in which we were over um, over four of them, which if I remember correctly the day before, we were over three of them. So, um, yeah, there's, I don't know, if we would have closed these out as of close yesterday, it would have cost $1.35 million to close those out. So I guess we'll see today how much it costs to close them out. For GUI, have one short call there at 152.50 strike, uh, under 1% as of close yesterday. JPMO, so, okay. So I'm not showing trades there, however, in case you didn't see the daily. And I can only assume that this is right. Well, I, I guess it doesn't matter. Trades can be wrong, okay, when we do these. I'm sure y'all have seen it before where I've mentioned it. Um, and they've also talked about, Jay's talked about these are European-style options. Therefore, they can't be assigned early. However, this is showing today, or for today's trades, that JPM uh, actually purchased shares. Um so this isn't the first time we've seen them purchase shares, but uh, just wanted to point that out here. And while I'm here, okay, let's see what we needed to... So those were added in you. I'm just going to look to make sure. So we may have to come back for squee. Okay. So that's where we were for JPMO, but we had three short calls that expire today. 197.50, and 122.50. I mean, 202.50. As of yesterday, we were underneath all of those strike prices. Murney here had three short calls that expire today. Strike prices 108, 109, and 111. And we were underneath all of those strike prices yesterday. And then we have MSFO here. Uh, we have... They've added to the synthetic positions and created two new short calls that will expire this week. So you can see we have 15 and 35 contracts there for the 432.50 and the 435 strike. We also have two short calls that expire today uh, with the 425 and a 427.50 strike. And at the end of the day yesterday, we were underneath those strikes. For Misty, they added 133, 130 contracts to the synthetic position and 130 to a new short call that will expire next Friday with a strike price of 1920 And then, of course, there are six short calls that expired today, ranging from 1770 to 2350 and as of close yesterday, we were 9 and 31% below those strike prices. And the last I looked today, we were below those strike prices still. Nephilim had no trades here, but we have two short calls that expired today with the strike price of 227.50 and or 627.50 and 630. And we were under those as of the close yesterday. NVD, no trades to go over here, but we had four short calls that expired today, ranging from 930 to 995, and we were underneath all of those as of the close yesterday. OARC, no trades to go over. Uh, do have one short call that expires today, the 49 strike, which we're currently under, and then, of course, two short calls next week for 49 and 4950 strikes. Again, we were underneath those as of yesterday, close yesterday. For Pepe, we have no um, trades to go over, but we have three short calls, 66, 67, and 68, and we were underneath all of those as of close yesterday. And then we have Squee here. So let's go back to those trades. <sighs> So Squee, they closed out the two short calls for this week at the straight prices of 86 and 87. Uh, they paid two cents for all of those a share. And uh, they, let's see, they only put half of them back on, which has been 
uh, what they've done. I guess this is going to be their new thing or they're trying it out. But uh, So they did half 2000 that will expire next Friday at 80 with an $80 strike. Let's just see if we have any more. So we don't have any more there. So we'll go back. And so now you can see here that 2,000, uh, those 2,000 contracts with that strike of 80 here that expire next Friday. And then moving on to Tesla, you can see where they had only put on. So um, I need to apologize for this one from the day before because I had this, the dollar amount that they had done on the daily roundup here. Um, so I showed it, it was like 5 million something. And then when, uh, I, when I had copied and pasted the trades to paste my values, for some reason it was reloading and it did not, the data didn't stay. So like I had checked it before I did it to make sure all the data was there before I pasted values. And then somehow it had got kicked out and I didn't realize it until yesterday, even though we saw it, um, trying to think of what day it is we had seen it on the you know the daily roundup here if you watch the daily roundup and then I went back and it just so happens that yesterday was the one day that I was having issues that nothing wanted to update and I downloaded every single file and I usually don't do that but uh, since I did, I was able to copy and paste them and put them in here for the historical. But I'm sorry, I did not have that on the holdings yesterday when we went through it. So I apologize for that. But you can see where they put the other, the rest of the contracts here, 21,000 contracts, uh, created a new short call that expires next Friday with a 182.50 strike. Uh, and then, of course, we already had the 172.50 strike, and we were underneath both of those. As of a few minutes ago, I don't know, in the middle of the excitement today, I guess there was false news, and the stock dropped all the way to $160. So, if we move on to Zomo, no trades. Well, we have two uh, short calls that expire today at 116 and 118. If we'd have closed these out yesterday, it would have cost 200 and. 89,000 to close those out so uh, we will see how much it will cost us today depending of course on where the stock price was and yeah, I don't know why those were like that I'll have to check them out um, and get that fixed but anyway, oh, I know why, because the data probably didn't pull over, and I didn't worry about it, because I knew that it wouldn't show any trades anyway. Um, so YMAG closed yesterday at 20.33, and YMAX closed at 21.17. And uh, so just so you know, if you don't watch the Daily Roundup, I added today at, at a request here, sorry, this here on the end so we can see how many days it takes for some of these to recover of course the market has since gone down um oh and i guess we could put a ranking to see which ones came back i didn't think about that um sorry we'll put a ranking in here because i just thought of it as i was saying it even if, you know, the market's down, so it takes them a while, we could still rank them on which ones did better uh, as far as recovering. Of course, it all depends on the underlying too, but it also depends on how well and stuff the market did. But I'll just put that there to remember. But anyway, um, yep, that's it. Again, sorry for getting this out and um, for getting this out late, but I did have all the data last night. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do the video itself. But I will talk to y'all later.